video we are going to take a look at how to run a Tyson TV application inside an emulator. The previous application we saw how to run a Tyson TV application inside an emulator. In the previous application that we saw the project that was created uh, using the default project creation wizard provided by Tyson. Running an application inside an emulator has various advantages. When you run your application inside an emulator, you will get access to the Samsung Smart TV APIs provided by Tyson. When you run your application inside a simulator, you have access only to the Tyson APIs and not the Samsung Smart TV APIs. In order to get access to the Samsung Smart TV APIs, you have to run your application inside an emulator or a real Tyson TV device. In order to run your application inside a Samsung Smart TV emulator, you will have to enable virtualization in your client developer machine. Based on the type of processor that you use, that is either Intel or AMD, the type of uh, virtualization platform supported differs. For Intel based processors, you use the Intel VTX or VTD or in the case of AMD, you have AMD V. There are various YouTube tutorials available uh, to help you with checking out whether your development machine supports virtualization and steps on how to enable virtualization in your machine. From this point on, I am continuing with the assumption that the virtualization is enabled in your machine. Those who do not have virtualization support in your machine, you have to make use of the Samsung Smart TV uh, real device, which is a real Tyson device to test your application. So I am continuing with uh, the assumption that we are going to run inside and uh, run your application inside an emulator. I hope you got an idea on how to run your Samsung Tyson TV application inside an emulator. In the next video, we will be focusing on making some code changes and viewing the result in the emulator. So stay tuned for further updates. Thank you.